Hello friends, myself Dharm. Today we are discussing on a very important topic. Let's talk about difference between retesting and regression testing. What is retesting? When a work is fixed by development team, then testing of fixed work is called retesting. Retesting is a testing of a particular work after it has been fixed. What is regression testing? When a work is fixed by development team, then testing of other features of the application which might be affected due to bug fix is called regression testing. Regression testing is always done to verify that modified code does not break existing functionalities of the application. Difference between retesting and regression testing. Testing of a particular bug after it has been fixed is called the retesting and verifying that modified code does not break existing functionality of the application is called regression testing. In regression testing, the past test cases are executed as well as failed test cases. In retesting, only the failed test cases are re-executed. In regression testing, work verification are not carried out. In retesting, works verification are carried out. In regression testing, the test cases can be automated. In retesting, the test cases cannot be automated. In regression testing, regression testing and retesting can be done in parallel manner. But in case of retesting, retesting is carried out after the regression testing due to the high priorities. In regression testing, the test cases can be obtained from the software specification document and the bug report. In retesting, the test cases can be obtained when the testing starts. In regression testing, it is carried out for the unaccepted outcomes and results. And retesting, it is carried out to check the original issues are correct. Regression testing, the style of regression testing are generic while the style of retesting are in the planned way. Regression testing, it is carried out to check the updation modification in the applications. While retesting, it is carried out to check the failed test cases in the final execution are fine. Thanks for watching this video. Please like, comment, share this video and don't forget to subscribe the channel for more software testing related videos. Thank you.